Tense moments during what was intended to be a peaceful protest in support of Ukraine. The downtown gathering was interrupted by someone trying to intimidate the crowd. News 4 San Antonio's Mike Jimenez was there. Mike. Good evening, Darian. There certainly were a couple of tense moments at today's rally, but demonstrators say they don't want the distraction to take away from today's message for help. Don't let Ukrainians die. That's our message. They will be bombed out. This is not a war, it's a slaughter. Ukrainian San Antonio held a peaceful rally at Alamo Plaza, calling on Americans to reach out to lawmakers to close Ukrainian skies. This is a slaughter. We are being slaughtered by Russian bombs, by Russian airplanes. If, if the sky is not closed, millions of people will suffer more. Many sharing their stories of friends and family members stuck in Ukraine. Ramiro Aguinaga says his girlfriend and her grandmother recently called him at 3 a.m. Grandma Tamara from the phone, she says, Ramiro, I just want to tell you I love you. And I said, I love you too, grandmother. But she says, I want to say this before I die. We get murdered in the streets of our police officers. Fighting through tears, Ramiro says it's painful to hear their pleas for help and heartbreaking not being able to help. I told we are put, we are put in the grandma, are you not going to die? But she's 80 something years old. Many, like Nicolette Ardiente, came out to show support for Ukrainians and their families. We're all human beings. We, we have to look out for one another. And democracy is at stake right now, and people don't deserve to be dying at this. The demonstration was briefly interrupted by a man who was walking through the crowd, oddly staring at people. We were there as he began touching people on the shoulders as he walked by. After shouting something at the demonstrators, one of them pushed the man. He was eventually run off by one of the demonstrators, and security escorted him out of Alamo Plaza. They were trying to intimidate, but you know what? Just like Ukrainians, we're not intimidated. We are not intimidated by these other people. We believe in freedom. Putin has claimed genocide is being committed against some Russians in Ukraine. In a speech today, he also claimed he was seeking the denazification of Ukraine. News 4 San Antonio's Mike Jimenez spoke with San Antonio Jewish leaders about those very comments. He joins us live tonight with their reaction. Mike, good evening. Good evening, Jonathan and Simone. Uh, some Jewish leaders found it a little difficult to respond to Putin's claims. One of those leaders calling the claims rubbish, the other ignorant. I don't even know how he in his twisted mind could even figure out how that statement could make any sense. What does that mean, denazify? Several Jewish leaders didn't want to even address the comments, but others felt they couldn't be ignored. I probably thought, I, I know, I thought what most people thought when they heard about that. Pure rubbish and just part of his disinformation campaign and... Uh, trying to justify the unjustifiable. Nami Ichilov with the Jewish Federation of San Antonio says claims by Putin are false. The notion that Putin was entering Ukraine to denazify um, the, the country is, is not only offensive and, and incorrect, um, it also happens to be incredibly disrespectful. We spoke with a Ukrainian who is Jewish by blood. She compared Putin to another former dictator and says Putin is the one committing genocide. What Putin is saying right now, it's exactly what Hitler said 75 years ago. Hitler was against Jewish people, the same like Putin is against Ukrainian people. It's a completely genocide. Rabbi Bloch with the Chabad Center for Jewish Life and Learning says many Jewish leaders have fled Ukraine, but those that have stayed behind are sheltered in place, helping those in need. He recently spoke with some by Zoom. I heard the bombs fall in the background, and it must be terrifying. Um, and they are um, dealing with with their own personal terror and trauma by focusing outward, by focusing on what they're needed for and who they can help because they realize they're in that position. The CEO with the Jewish Federation of San Antonio says the claims made by Putin show uh, ignorance and also a lack of empathy for those that suffered during the Holocaust and throughout other genocides throughout world history.